गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर कैन वी स्टार्ट ऑल ऑफ यू कैन वी कैन आई स्टार्ट सर यस मैम ओके ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सो लास्ट वीक वी हैव सीन टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस पार्ट वन ओके सो इट 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 हैज फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बरिंग राइट so we are going to continue further last week we have seen two types of sentences so this week this uh, today we are going to see uh, different two types of sentences okay so uh, so next slide please okay so if you remember so we have seen declarative there are four types of sentences declarative uh, sentences exclamatory sentences imperative sentences and interrogative sentences out of this four we have seen two declarative and interrogative okay so today we are going to study about imperative sentences and exclamatory sentences okay so last week we have seen many examples of declarative and interrogative sentences also and today Uh, i am going to test you on the basis of all these four types of sentences okay so at the end of this uh, session you will be able to know different types of sentences and you will be able to recognize all these four types of sentences okay so next slide please okay so there are four types of sentences of Uh, of english there are four types of english sentences classified by the purpose so declarative sentence that is statement interrogative se uh, sentence that is question so declarative just keep in mind statement interrogative keep in mind question okay so you must be remembering this two one okay and third one is imperative sentence that is command whenever there is a command or request so that time it is imperative sentence and next one is last one is exclamatory sentence that is exclamation mark sentences you have to find out okay so in deep we are going to study uh, about imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence so next slide please okay just a revision quick revision of declarative so statement it makes a statement or expresses an opinion it makes a declaration okay so declaration it declares something declaration is it is a straight statement nothing uh, nothing shocking feeling or nothing surprise nothing sudden feeling is there nothing means no command no request nothing is there in this de declarative statement it is just a statement okay so john likes mary i am a teacher so no feelings no expression and uh, no advice no command so that is your declarative sentence okay and next one we have seen that is interrogative sentences so in interrogative sentence we have seen questions so whenever you are asking questions that is nothing but your interrogative sentence so question it asks us something does mary like john what is your name how old are you okay so these are the questions which you ask that is interrogative so it is very easy to identify interrogative statements okay and declarative also you should uh, you should analyze the sentence okay does it have any feelings does it have any emotions does it have sudden feelings so that time if it doesn't have anything so that means the sentence is declarative sentence so new we are going to see imperative and exclamatory so next slide please okay so uh, today we are going to study in deep about imperative sentences and exclamatory sentences so imperative sentence what does imperative sentence do okay command request order it tells us to do something 
okay so it gives you uh, imperative means it gives you directions okay it gives you direction direction in the sense it, it tells you something uh, uh, it tells you about uh, there is a request please okay so it it gives you command and it tells you order okay or uh, for example i will tell you is i think you should respect your parents so i think you should respect your parent that is the request we can say okay request or we can say command right so that time it is called as a imperative sentence so you, you can see the examples of this stop close the door please come in see here uh, have you uh, do you see you you should do this way you should do that way no it is just a simple comma it is in short so stop close the door please come in it is understood that it is being said to you only okay at home also it is it is not necessary that you uh, there should be you in the uh, sentence okay so subject is understood that you it is said to you only okay and the symbol which is being used for imperative sentence it can be full stop or exclamation mark okay both can both can be used so you you can see stop so stop it doesn't mean exclamatory sentence so it is stop means it is somebody is giving you command you have to stop there okay so that time it is imperative sentence <clears throat> and next one is exclamatory so exclamatory it expresses surprise shock or a sudden feeling so whenever there is a sudden feeling okay uh as for example okay what are you doing if somebody is uh, saying you and somebody wishes you happy birthday you are sleeping and you don't know what uh, what is going on and somebody comes and they give you surprise okay so that time also it is uh, that sentence it may be uh, we use exclamation mark so we can see the example in this what a funny story he told us alas he died so young okay so these are the statements which are exclamatory so mostly mainly it is uh, very easy to identify whenever you see exclamation mark in the sentence so that time it is exclamation exclamatory sentence okay and the symbol which is used in this is very simple exclamatory exclamation mark okay so symbol is exclamation mark you will see in the sentence okay so these are the short, this is a short explanation of imperative and exclamatory so we are going to see in deep about imperative sentence so next slide please okay so third type is imperative sentence so imperative sentence is nothing but your command so in bracket is it is written command okay you say something to somebody an imperative sentence is one of the types of sentence which is used to issue a command instruction make a request or offer advice so this words you have to keep in mind command instructions make a request you request somebody please give me a glass of water you offer advice i think you should respect your parents okay instruction uh, go down come in okay don't talk too much okay so this these are the uh, these are the examples of instructions command request advice okay so uh, we are going to see some examples of this uh, so next slide please okay so this type of sentence this sentences are sometimes referred to as directives now what is directives because they provide direction to whoever is being addressed for example you are at home and something is said by your uh, parents okay so it is understood that direction is direction is being given to you only right or your brother or sister okay so it gives you direction imperative sentences gives direction to somebody who is talking to someone okay 
so imperative sentences usually end with a period now last week i have told you what do you mean by period period means full stop okay so it 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 has a certain limit it has a certain end okay so uh it usually ends with a full stop but can occasionally end with a exclamation point sometimes it uh, it has exclamation mark okay so we have seen example that is stop stop and after that exclamation mark or otherwise usually it has a period period means full stop okay so note there is usually no subject in this we can see we we are, we will not see any subject okay subject in the sense you she he they we okay i will not see any subject in the imperative sentences because the subject is understood that it is you somebody is telling to you only so it is understood you should understand that the command or request or Uh, command request is given to you only nobody else okay so subject is not necessary in imperative sentences okay so because the subject is understood okay so this is about imperative sentences so let us see some examples of this so next slide okay so you can uh, just have a look on the uh, sentences for a minute okay so let's see some examples of imperative sentences that are get your hand up get your hand up means you have to put your hand up so that is the command okay get your hand up an exclamation mark is given so it is a command and it is a imperative sentence so next is do your homework do whenever it is being used do go so this small uh, this small these are instructions small statements are nothing but your instructions so instructions are nothing but your imperative sentences so do your homework do your homework okay so it is a instruction it has a feeling that you should do your homework so that is the instruction next is close the window close the window so it may be request or you uh, or somebody may demand now close that door okay close the window or somebody say please close the door or close the window so it may be it depends on the situation okay so it may be request or a demand next is go to bank and make that deposit somebody is telling you your parent must be telling you go to bank and make that deposit so this is a instruction which is being given so it is understood this instruction is being given to you only right so go to bank and make that deposit so this is a instruction go to bed so your parents may tell if it, if you are not sleeping early in the night so they may tell you go to bed they may demand you go to bed and sleep okay so next is please come with me for dinner so this is an invitation okay or it may be request invitation or it may be request please come with me for dinner right next is i need you to sit down now i need you to sit down now okay so this may be command this is a command i need you to sit down now so how it is being said i need you to sit down now okay so move out of my way move out of my way so you may tell the uh, uh the indonesian pattern may change over here so move out of my way 
move out of my way okay so this is a command so get your hand up command i need you to sit down now command move out of my way command okay so command request please come with me for a dinner so this is a request okay instructions do your homework go to bed go to ba bank and make that deposit so this is a instruction okay request close the window so these are the things it has some it ha it has no uh, it has no subjects okay it has no subjects but it has feelings right like command instructions request okay so by this you should understand these are the imperative sentences so next slide please okay so that was about imperative sentences so next one we are going to see about exclamatory sentence now what is exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence is nothing but your exclamation mark okay so exclamatory sentences express strong emotion surprise okay somebody gives you surprise or it may be a sudden feeling oh what are you doing so sudden feeling okay so that is nothing but your exclamatory sentences so exclamatory sentences express strong emotion surprise and exclamation and they always end with an exclamation mark or a point so exclamatory sentences always end with exclamation mark okay exclamatory sentence always end with the exclamation mark so examples you may see down <clears throat> so what a liar he is what a liar he is so this way you are going to say this is not a question this is a exclamatory sentence okay if you see question mark that are your interrogative sentences and if you see exclamation so these are your exclamatory sentences so what a liar he is okay and what an exciting movie it was okay after after seeing the new movie you may be saying oh movie kitna mast tha right like this you say so in english how you will say what an exciting movie it was so like this so it is a exclamatory sentence what a tasty pizza what a tasty pizza okay so it is a feeling you are showing your expression you are showing your feeling right how exciting the movie was how exciting the movie was okay so this way you see the examples okay so these are the examples of exclamatory sentences we are going to see more examples of exclamatory sentences okay so next slide please okay so some examples of common categories are given here under so in exclamatory also there are different types of examples okay so we are going to see that examples <coughs> exclamatory sentences expressing strong emotion when there is very strong emotion so how it is being said many many sweet return of the day many many sweet return of the day okay happy new year happy christmas so when you say this these are the strong emotions you are saying to somebody right so this time uh, you use exclamation mark okay so these are the strong emotion types of sentences okay so uh, in surprise in uh, in a big a uh, feeling in big emotion in strong emotion you say this sentence to somebody right happy new year happy new year teacher happy christmas teacher you say like this right so you are showing your strong emotion to somebody by wishing right 
So that time you use exclamation mark. The next slide. Okay. So here you see uh, second type that is exclamation sentences, exclamatory sentences. Those begin with what? When there is a use of what? What is being also used in questions? Right, WH questions. So WH questions that are different. When there is a question mark, it is interrogative. Okay, so here what is also used in exclamatory sentences. So how it is been, how the sentence formation is there, you see. What a beautiful scenery. What a beautiful scenery. What a cute baby. Okay, whenever you see a small baby and he or she is very cute. So how you say, what a cute baby. What a cute baby, right? So that time you use exclamation mark. What a nice behavior. Okay, somebody behaves very nicely. Okay, so that time you say, okay, what a nice behavior. So this way uh, you use what as a ex in exclamatory sentences, right? So what a beautiful scenery, what a cute baby, what a nice behavior, right? So this time you use exclamatory mark when you use what, okay? So strong emotions we have seen. We have seen exclamatory sentence with what also. Okay, further we will see. Next slide. Okay, so you also uh, exclamatory sentence, those begin with how. Exclamatory sentences also begin with how. How brightly it shines. How brightly it shines, okay? How beautifully she sings. How if somebody is singing, okay? When you see the program, uh, singing a program, okay? So that time you see somebody is singing very nicely. So you say how beautifully she sings, right? So you have to make, uh, you have to make statements like this, right? When you see something nice, right? So how how neatly she has kept her house. How, ne how neatly she has kept her house. So you can use how also in the beginning of the exclamatory sentence. And you can see exclamation mark in this. Next slide. Okay, so we have seen a strong emotion exclamatory sentence. We, we have seen what exclamatory sentences. And we have seen how, uh, which is being used in exclamatory sentence. And next, exclamatory sentence containing such. In exclamatory sen sentence, there is a use of such also. Okay. Uh, she is such a kind lady. She is such a kind lady. He is such a bright student. Okay. She is such a wonderful writer. Okay. So in this, uh, it is a use of such. So whenever there is a use of such or you will see exclamation mark. So these are the recognition things. You can recognize the sentence that this is a exclamatory sentence. Okay. By the use of such is there in the sentence or exclamation mark. So she is such a kind lady. She is such a bright student. He is such a bright student. She is such a wonderful writer. Okay. By looking at this, you will see the exclamation mark so you will you have to come to know that these are the exclamatory sentences uh, so next slide please okay so we have seen we have seen all four types of sentences first we have seen declarative sentence last week and interrogative sentences and today we have seen imperative and exclamatory sentences so this is a little test for you so just observe the statements and you're going to answer me one by one, right? So identify the type of sentence in the question. So you have to identify the sentence. Okay, so first just have a look and think of the answer. I will give you one minute to think. Just think of the answer. Which, which type of sentences are this? Declarative, exclamatory, imperative or interrogative? One minute time starts. So 
last last slide so don't you answer previous slide previous slide So slide, please. Next slide. Yes. Okay. So previous slides. <laughs> previous slide. Previous slide. Yes. Okay. So what is the first statement? Who will tell me the answer? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Who will answer me? Just answer me. Which type of sentence? Interrogative. Interrogative because there is a question mark, right? Next one. Please open the door. Please open the door. Please open the door. Which type of sentence? Is it an interrogative? Please open the door. It's a request. Imperative, right? See, whenever imperative, it will take time to understand imperative statement. Okay, so it is a request, and when it is a full stop, right? So it is an imperative sentence. So just tell me third one. Please tell us the story of Cinderella. Please tell us the story of Cinderella. Third one, what is the answer? What is the answer of third one? Please tell us the story of Cinderella. Imperative. Imperative. Very good. Very good. It is a request. That's why it is imperative. Next one. Are school books available in your store? Are school books available in your store? Question mark. So what type of statement it is? What type of uh, statement? Interrogative. Interrogative. Very good because it has a question mark. Next one. Rekha, you should do, you should go to the doctor. Rekha, you should go to the doctor. Imperative. Imperative. Why it is imperative? Because somebody is giving advice to Rekha. Rekha, you should go to the doctor. That's why it is imperative. It is an advice. So, just check your answers. Have you said the answers correct or wrong? Okay. So, next slide. So, next slide, please. Okay. See, first one interrogative, then imperative, imperative, interrogative, then fifth one statement is nothing but your interrogative. Okay. So, next, next slide, sir. Okay, so again, five more examples. The stars are twinkling in the sky. What type of uh, sentence is this? The stars are twinkling in the sky.
just answer me quickly. Declarative. Declarative, because it doesn't have any feeling, it doesn't have any request command. It is just a statement, the stars are twinkling in the sky. Next one, what a beautiful painting it was. Very simple, just now we have seen. What a beautiful Exclam painting. Exclamatory, very nice. What a beautiful painting it was, right. So next is, mother is calling you. Mother is calling you. Declarative. Declarative. It is just a simple statement, right? Next one is children, please come inside the class. Children, please come inside the class. Come on, tell me the answer. Imperative. Imperative because it has a request. Please is used, right? So, imperative. Last one. Don't talk in my class. Don't talk in my class. So, like this I am saying. Don't, don't talk in my class. So, what is the answer of this? Imperative order. Imperative. And it is an order. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, let's check your answers. So, next slide, please. See. Okay. So, statement is nothing but declarative. Declaration means statement or assertive. Okay. Then, exclamation, exclamatory. Then, again, declarative. Then, imperative, imperative. That's it. Uh, so, uh, okay, that's all with this chapter. So we have uh, studied types of sentences. Thank you all of you.